What's going on everybody? It's the Heart Pirates TCG here and I wanted to go over this deck list because I had so many people asking about it um, and I just wanted to go over this deck list why I'm playing these things and things that you could change um, to make it more optimized for certain uh, deck lists. Um, I, I, I keep saying this a lot but blue finally has some cards that can deal with red aggression so if this if if now this deck is catered towards playing against uh, Whitebeard, the new Luffy, uh, Film, Film Dofi, uh, and other just variants like 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 Queen things like that. But if the meta were to change and things like uh like like Law and Zora were to return at least, you know, showing a little bit of representation, then you can change. Uh, you can take out. I would say probably these Sanji's Pilafs and maybe like one or two of these uh, these Boas for uh, Dragon Twister and Ulti. Um, so those those are what you could change maybe maybe a Doflamingo, but I like Doflamingo into every other matchup. So um, without further ado, we have. Uh, here, let's talk about it. we have the uh, four Mihawk. So Mihawk is just absolutely insane um, I think it, I think Mihawk is actually better in set four than it has been in the other three sets just because the format is a little bit slower and uh, You can run over decks like uh, like Luffy Whitebeard um, uh, Yellow you can run over uh, decks like uh, film Dofi just because they play like seven and unders a lot of the times and you can establish tempo with that and they don't really have anything to get rid of the Doflamingo or the uh, Mihawk um, not even Doflamingo because you can just bottom deck with Red Hawk with Red Rock um, I made a couple changes to this list based because uh, it did have a little bit of an issue going into yellow because yellow is just yellow is just always really good at just taking life and uh, sometimes we just don't have answers for it but uh, I put a lot more blockers in here to basically make yellow a lot harder to uh, like go for game and you can close out games uh, in 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 a good and efficient way so I put three kumas in here uh, kuma sometimes I'll just play them just to bait the past feast so they don't even want to attack them and I'll just use them as a 5k attack pretty much every turn um, and then sometimes like by the time they kill them you'll have the past feast in hand so that's good uh, three Perona you could cut this to uh, two if you wanted to you could play none if you wanted to I like three Perona because it just kind of like sets up your it sets up your plays um, like a lot of times like one of my one of my favorite like my favorite going first I like going first in this deck by the way and my favorite going first curve is Perona into Sanji's peel off and then you don't have a fifth play like a like a five don play but um you can play like i don't know like kuma or pasfisa or you can three thousand worlds and then put one on crocodile and swing stuff like that so um like that that like that's a good going first curve you could cut this for something else if you wanted to but i personally like the perona uh, but four is just too many you don't want to, you don't need to you don't even need to see her all the time but it would be nice to see her sometimes you know like she's good when she, she when she comes up but you don't need her that's why i only play three but you do need this card right here miss all sunday because we are playing some the most important de uh, events in the game we're playing the only events we're playing are uh, draw two uh bottom deck of five or lower and bottom deck anything and you want to recycle those as much as humanly possible she's also a blocker that can help deal with uh cards like like uh, 10 cost big mom right like it blocks let me get back my red rock and I'll bottom deck it, right? So like that way Big Mom doesn't have that much that like it's not like a looming threat on the board. Um, and just like having blockers really just helps close out games because a lot of decks just don't have access to deal with so many blockers. So um, I think we're playing how many in total? We're playing three, seven, uh, 11. We're playing 15 blockers, 15 blockers. So uh, then we're playing four Kaya. Uh, Kai is just a solid uh, 2k counter that you can use her effect and then you can bounce it back with Kaido um, later on or Doflamingo if you don't have anything else to, to bounce. Um, a lot of times with Kaido, you'll have like one, you'll have like, you'll want to bounce like an eight or less and then like they don't have like a three or less, they'll have like a four that you want to bounce but you can't so you just bounce back your Kai or something like that or maybe your Perona and then uh, like either get a draw two back um, or get a 2k counter back or just re restart or restack your deck so uh, four Kai is good and then I play three Kaido, I was, I was playing four but he just kept clogging um, I, I think this card is absolutely insane, don't get me wrong, he's a 10-12 that bounces two characters that are usually pretty important, but four of them just kept clogging, and uh, it felt like Mihawk was just slightly better in more situations, which is why I'm playing four Mihawk and only three Kaido. So, um, especially because, like, yellow. Like, yellow, like, I think yellow next set's gonna be a little bit better than it is now, and, uh, Kai, er, like, Mihawk is just better at dealing with, like, cards like Seven Cost Big Mom and, like, uh like other problem cards like that like the six eight um uh Paro sparrow just like just like sticky cards like that it's hard to get off the, off the board and mihawk just permanently gets them off the, off, off the board rather than if you bounce them with kaido then like you can get you have to trash another life or give them one so it's kind of it's kind of you don't want to do that all the time uh, and then i'm only playing two sasaki uh sasaki he's 
he's only there for like the mulligan factor, right? Like if you have a really unplayable hand or you have a good hand and then you draw him and like you don't have that great of a hand anymore. You're searching for answers. You can play him. He's still a four cost or 4,000 attack body that with one dawn on him is a threat to attack. Um, and you can just kind of reshuffle your hand, get some cards back. If you, you know, if you're looking for blockers like Miss All Sunday to just get value back. A lot of times what I'll do is like, I'll play like one or two Miss All Sundays and then I'll play Sasaki and, um, and, uh, Basically, Sasaki will put all the cards back from my hand to my deck, and then I'll get cards like Sanji's Peel Off back with the first Missile Sunday, and then Red Rock back with the second one. And, you know, like, I I basically have more cards than I started out with. You know, like, if you have an unplayable hand, he's good for the mulligan. Um, honestly, now that I think about it, you probably could cut this Mihawk um, to, to two and then play, or maybe even to one and play this Sasaki at four. But I just like Mihawk because sometimes like you just don't have a lot of like plays and you need to put a body on the field. Like sometimes you just don't have Kuma. Sometimes you don't have Pacifista. So it's like, sometimes you want to put a body on the field and you can always just bounce them back later on with like Kaido if you really wanted to. Um, or like, honestly, you can just get them to like bait out attacks and things like that. Or like bait out bottom decks. Like if you're playing the blue mirror, like sometimes they'll like, this will help you cycle. And sometimes like, like sometimes they'll bottom deck with 3000 worlds and be like, okay, that's, that's fine. Like you don't, if you bottom deck the Mihawk, then you won't bottom deck the Kuma or the Pacifista or my miss all Sunday. So, um, it can be a bait. You can kind of switch those up if you want to. And I'm playing four laws because like Marco isn't as relevant next set. And then like, there's not a lot of like kill cards. There's a lot of bottom, there's a lot of bottom deck cards, but they're not going to want to waste it on like a one cost law. So four, he's actually like so free right now. And like, I, I, I really like him a lot. Uh, how many 2Ks are we playing in total? We're playing four, six. We're playing nine 2Ks in general. I know that's like a weird like ratio, but it's it's been working out pretty well. I mean, especially with like the draw twos and all the blockers, like you don't really need a whole lot of 2Ks. Um, you just need enough to like protect some of your characters and then protect your life when you really need to. Um, so you don't really need a whole lot of 2Ks, but 15 blockers is enough. And we're playing two Doflamingo, uh, the starter deck Doflamingo. Doflamingo is really only good because like, uh, film Luffy pretty much uh, you bounce that back for tempo like yeah you, he can play another seven and then a four film um, but just like establishing a seven cost body on the board and then like the second he plays it again you can like Mihawk it or you can go like Kaido or whatever um, so it's just like establishing bodies on the board and like getting rid of their, their tempo and making them basically like repeat their turn um, that's why I play it it's also really good into Whitebeard it's really good into uh into into decks like uh like Luffy uh the new the new uh uh uh, red uh, what is it red purple Luffy because if they play like kid or, or I don't know some people are playing like Thatch or just like anything like that you can just like bounce it back for a tempo play and then now you have a body that can compete with theirs it's seven and even if they play that kid again and put that Luffy to seven like it's still like you're still swinging for zero dawn basically for free um, so that it's really good to just establish the tempo right there you can cut it if 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 like the if the meta is different this is the first card that I would cut if the meta turns out to be different than I think it is, but for right now, from all the testing, as, as you guys seen on my last video, it's really good. They're playing the four pacifista, uh, just a four six buy. It's really good. It's a one k counter. It can't go wrong, and you can play it for free with Kuma. Uh, it's just an overall good card. Pro I mean, the best four, the four, the best vanilla, uh, in in blue for sure. And we're playing four boa. This card actually comes in handy a lot. Um, just being able to get it off of life. Like sometimes, sometimes like you'll be trying to set up. Uh, like, like, for example, like you play like these big bodies, right? You play Doflamingo, you play Mihawk, you play Kaido, and you don't really have any blockers on the field per se. And you have like, let's say like four, like three or four life left. They'll try to like rush you down to like put pressure on the board. And like, sometimes you'll trigger into like a Sanji's peel off or Red Rock, like all the, like all these cards right here. They, like we have four, seven, 10, 14 cards that are, uh, that on trigger can like really help you in certain ways. Um, whether it be bottom decking a three or a four or drawing two or a blocker. So like like the option for them to just rush down your life just isn't 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 an option anymore because you have so many cards that like trigger to save you right like like they, let's say they for whatever reason they play marco right uh, and they swing seven uh you trigger into sanji's peel off draw into three thousand worlds right or they swing seven you play a blocker uh they swing seven again with let's say either another marco or like i don't know like a, a, a machino buggy then you have this to block the attack so you don't just take the damage it's basically just like basically like, these just these all just like prolong you to late game and like give you options to like stall to later game that's why i like this bow a lot um then obviously three subjects peel off pot of greed um activate the the trigger is just absolutely broken and then early on crocodile doesn't really have a lot of plays so like you can just get this for free uh it was clogging a little bit so i decided to cut it from four to three still really good when you need it uh three three thousand worlds um you don't need this as much as you do red rock because like next set there's just gonna be a lot of like really like 
it's just like high cost cards and you're not playing rebecca so you're not playing rebecca or like access to black cards so you can't uh like dawn minus anything really uh, or you can't uh you can't cost minus anything so like 3000 worlds only hits so much but red rock is going to hit pretty much everything and the trigger is basically 3000 worlds main effect except for like it's a four instead of a five um and then obviously with all of these you're playing essentially double the copies you're playing technically eight red rocks and six three thousand worlds because you have access to miss all sunday who can get back all of those events for free um so I, I i overall guys i mean you've seen my you've seen my my streams you've seen the the video i uploaded yesterday the deck is just absolutely phenomenal like it's very solid i haven't lost to a lot like i've lost to like other blue mirror matches i've lost to like a couple yellows because i didn't have enough blockers but we changed that and now we have a ton of blockers and we added the extra mihawk and took out one of the kaidos and since i've been doing that it's been running very smoothly so let me know what you guys think of this uh let me know if you guys are going to be playing this or not i think this deck is gonna be very good um i don't know what actually beats this like straight up because i mean from my testing i don't think like i think this beats like everything almost um I and mean, maybe like super tempo decks like may I, I don't even think zora will either because if we do end up making those changes to the meta um we can cut like some of these cards like maybe even perona or um like maybe a couple of these law these blocker laws or maybe this doflamingo and like play like the uh the halt the red aggression type stuff like right like we can play uh, for those of you guys who don't know i've talked about this a lot but uh ulti Ulti right here is the 3 4, basically a Nico Robin. Uh, Don, one minus, or Don 1, when attacking, return a 2 cost to the bottom of the owner's deck. Um, or you can return it to the hand, actually. So um, if you wanted to, you can like bounce back um, You can bounce back your Kaya, you can bounce back your Perona if you wanted to. Um, or you can just bottom deck to Don, you can bottom deck a Buggy, like all of that type of stuff. So um, that's also really good. And then Dragon Twister, if those of you guys don't know, uh, Dragon Twister is uh, it's a level of metal, basically, plus 4,000 counter. And then you bottom deck a 1 cost or lower, basically. So um, if you go second, a lot of Zoras want to go first. You go second, you play this first. As soon as they search for, uh, you know, whatever, they play Ezo, search for Mark or whatever, you play this you bottom deck their Ezo, and then uh that's the end of their turn the next turn they play let's say dadon whatever dadon buggy dadon Ezo, dadon nami whatever um they search for their things they search for marco you play this this uh ulti right here uh where is it you play uh you play the ulti and because because she's not able to get killed by marco uh, you bottom deck either a Dadon or a Buggy, or if they attack with one of them, you can attack into the Buggy because this is a strike, and it's going to be a 5,000 because you have a Don on them. Then you can then you can bottom deck the Dadon, then you can bottom deck the Buggy, or you can you can bottom deck you can bottom deck the Dadon, attack over the Buggy, or, or vice versa, whatever it is that you prefer. Um, and then if they play Marco, you have access to cards like 3,000 Worlds. You have access to cards like Red Rock. Um, there's just a lot of ways to like deal with it. Or like honestly, you can like just bounce it back and like make them just play it again. And a lot of times, like you don't play like your laws against Red until like later on. So there's just a lot of ways to deal with it. Um, a lot of ways to deal with it. But um, yeah, I, I know I said that again. But let me know what you guys think. I, I rambled on a little bit, but I'm, I think the future is very bright for this deck, and um, I'm, I'm excited to play it for set four. Hopefully, you guys are too. Peace.